dentistry is just five years of teeth, right? Well, yes, but also no, it's a lot more. In my first year, I've covered so much content that I would never have thought about learning. So in this video, I'm gonna break down what exactly I learned, how it was structured out across my first year. My name's Harry, I'm a first year dental student studying at Barts in London School of Medicine and Dentistry. So please note, this video is specifically for my university. It might be similar across the country, but it also might be different as well. So in our first year, there are four arms of content. The first is basic clinical sciences. The second is PHEBD, or population health evidence-based dentistry. The next is PTSR, which is professionalism, teamwork, and social responsibility. And the last one is just clinical practice. So basic clinical sciences is what you'd expect from your lectures. Um, and within that, we have five different types of lectures. We have cell biology, systems physiology, oral sciences, medical conditions and pharmacology. So most of them are self-explanatory. The only new one that you really might have heard is oral sciences. So that is what you learn about oral anatomy, specifically anything about the teeth. So the rest is just basic biomedical sciences. So within one week, we'd have one overarching theme, but we'd have different lectures from these different topics. So for example, in one of the weeks, it was all about the skeleton, all about the um, bones and cartilage. So in that week, we had some oral sciences lectures, specifically about the teeth. We had a lecture about medical conditions regarding the skeleton. We had a cell biology lecture all about the calcium homeostasis, so specifically what happens in the cell. We also had some system physiology as well, so how the bone ossifies and actually grows. So each question in our assessment is based on a week, and that could be from any of these lectures within that week. So specifically moving on to how we're actually assessed, there are six different exams. Four of those are called ICAs and two of those are modulars. So the modular ones are actually the ones that count. So we'd have ICA1, ICA2 within our first semester, and those are basically just gateway exams, and we have to pass those to do the M1. And that's the one that actually counts towards our grades. Then there's a repeat within the second semester, so ICA3, ICA4, and then finally M2. And there are three types of questions within these exams. We have MCQs, we have image MCQs, and finally we have short answer questions as well. So moving on to PHEBD, that is all about learning how to master picking out the best scientific papers to answer a question that your patient might have. For example, a patient may come to you and ask whether using a dental floss or interdental brushes is better to prevent caries, and you have to form a PICO question. So that's population, intervention, comparison, and outcome. So what about who it is? What are we changing for them? What do they normally do? And how are we assessing um, how good it is, how effective it is? So this was assessed in a three hour exam and we had two scenarios like that. And we have to pick out two research papers for each and justify why we chose those. PTSR um, or professionalism, teamwork and social responsibility. So that was all about developing our skills, interacting with different types of patients. Um, in small groups we'd have different exercises. For example, in one week, we had um, pictures of people and we had to explain what our first thoughts about them was. So for example, there was a person who was smiling with a great smile, but he had his front tooth missing. And someone suggested that we can see that it's quite confident because usually a missing tooth at the front, people may feel unconfident um, smiling, but this person was still smiling. So they seemed quite confident and quite comfortable within themselves. And this was examined through a thousand word essay, which we wrote about what we observed in the dental hospital reception. So interactions between the patient and the receptionist, between them and the dentist or a nurse, as well as any non-verbal communications and empathy as a whole and how it was portrayed. And finally was clinical practice, which was the most hands-on bit and the bit that most people look forward to doing. Uh, so it started off very basic, just doing hand washing, and then moved on to actually doing dental charts, a diet charts, and then it moved on to a bit more hands-on, taking BPEs on each other, using disclosing tablets, and also how we form alginate and different dental materials. And our recent one was all about putting in rubber dams to isolate the tooth so we can actually operate. And this is all assessed in an OSCE, which happens after our M2 exam. Now, all of this is a lot of content and it's quite hard to keep track of what I've learned, what I need to learn, what I need to go over. So to keep myself organized, I have a whole Notion page for it. If you're interested in looking at how I organize myself throughout the year, just click this video over here. Keep smiling and I'll see you in the next one.